I'm still alive. It's not that easy to kill me. I haven't filmed in a while because I had a tumor in my head. Got the tumor removed. Wolf Animal Tour in uh, Medford, Oregon. I'm uh, going to show you some theoretical crucifix position stuff. You guys got to think three dimensionally and start thinking where the potential crucifixes are. So, head outside single leg, potential crucifix position. Usually you see head inside singles in MMA because of flying knees, high elbow guillotines, other defenses, unless it's like a guy like Daniel Cormier and shit is going to get high crotch and plant. Uh, so, this is potential crucifix position. If it's side turtle, and I just threw the guy, or he just failed to throw, or whatever, side turtle. Maybe you don't got hooks in your side ride. You can throw something in the hole, try and peel back, and grab that arm. Now, he's in a crucifix, okay? Here, Cru crucifix here, I can submit him here, or I can roll him all the way over, and now we're in the back crucifix, submission there, here, neck crank, all kinds of stuff. Even side now, unbelievably, is a potential side uh, crucifix. So if he side mounts me, and as he's coming to side now, I catch this arm. Okay, this is the octopus escape. I'm trying to get the angle. Yeah, there you go. We're good. So here, I'm going to buck my hips, get his weight way off of my hips. So now he's up on my chest. That way I can rear shoulder roll and I'm trying to trap one in there. This. Octopus is a style of back crucifix. So from here, whatever you want to do, and then man, keep you to the stoppage just with deep, big, wide hits to the sword flexes, then baby space. But don't underestimate the power. If a guy's got a good chin, you're tired of your fight. Don't underestimate the power of a deep strike to the sword flexes, elbow, the ribs, face, self-defense, other stuff. Okay, so this is a potential crucifix that people just don't see. Figure four arm bar, if I wanted to switch to a regular arm bar, put over the head, I can, to the cheer, I can, bring both legs out, here, I can, whatever, but it's a potential crucifix position. I'll continue with this one for a minute. So here on the back, and his arms under the arm being here, the first thing I would hit was self defense in my I might try something like this, is pain compliance, some guys will tap, some guys won't. Roll the wrist bone under where all the pressure points are at the jaw. A bit of a choke, a bit of a crank, mostly a pain compliance technique. Okay, so we're here. And his weight's on me. Find him here. Almost like you're doing a question of anything because uh, twister. But come here under the jaw. Pain compliance. Then if he does the tap and he's doing boom, then I might come. Okay, that's not enough. Then you'll slide up to a regular armor if you want. Or you can pass this arm, go here before you go to regular armor. Or you can pass it under here, control, and then you're overhooking here. And then there's the neck crank with your body weight. Okay. Ideally, I keep this tighter, but I'm trying to be a little gentle here. Snap it. Okay, so that's potential crucifix. So you need to see all these crucifix positions so you understand it. So you can look at my better version of the uh, uh, octopus escape, but I want to show that neck crank from the back. So even if you're like a Marcelo guy, and you got back control or potential back control, and you end up switching out to that arm, to a regular crucifix position, boom. I trap this, and you're here. Just know that this stuff is here. I got that. Roll it under. Even here, I got a pretty good short choke, pain compliance kind of combination. Okay, if you have longer arms, you can do a four where you're naked. Like Marcelo and other guys can, they're shorter, but longer arm. I can't really do that. Uh, but this neck crank, most people don't know. So instead of switching off the armor, here, you just base out. In the body. So it's a really nice neck crank. Just try not to let his head slide out. If he does, you're still top on the crucifix. So theoretically there, see how they tie together. Let's say his head did slip out. I messed up, it came up too high. Boom. Well, hey, that's not me either. Now I'm in top mounted crucifix. So back crucifix, top mounted crucifix, front turtle, single leg, head, out, head outside, single leg, side turtle. These are all potential crucifix. So now you can look up my crucifix video 
for all the stuff from the top of the cruise face. So you need to see all these positions as they go together. I won't go into top mounted cruise fix, but I'll show some of the subs from uh, Turtle. So, side Turtle. Here, I'm working in here. Seat belt, maybe. Man, it's hard to get this back. Now, right here, look what he did with his arm. Right there, he reversed, or like a reverse limb arm in wrestling. Okay, if he does a reverse arm on the leg, most people don't know the submission. This is Jad Viga. I'm not great at it. I'm going to go super, super slow. I never get this in training because most guys won't tap to it. But that's not the submission I was going to show, but it's because he did it naturally. He's like, oh, I'm getting straight arm guard. He rolled his arm to defend. Guys will do that. Okay, so let go of the seatbelt. And then you're just going to come over and you're going to shoulder. Okay, right here. And I'm just going to roll and see what it's going to do to his shoulder right there. He's tapping. Now he can roll with it. Can you shoulder roll with it? to relieve the pressure. So I gotta control him. See what I did with his face or his chest? You can't let him sit up and get top position. So if he does roll out, you're here, and then he can just work it back to get the tap, shoulder, elbow, whatever. Just don't let him get out in that scramble. But honestly, um, guys don't know this move. It's, the, it's done in Sambo all the time. It's Yadviga, Brazilian shredder, with everything. So now it's like a reverse from Plata. No, it's been using soccer competition for a billion years. Um, but if you hit it fast, if I just go, oh, and he reverses his arm, and I just hit it, he's gonna break his shoulder. He's not even gonna have time to roll. Now I would only do that in a professional MMA fight or a very high level pro money grappling tournament. I'm not gonna bust the amateur guy's arm really bad unless it's like a high level thing. Okay, so that's got Um The one I was going for was just straight arm up. So when you hook in here, it depends on him. Here, here, peel this back, drop your weight. I usually like a cross wrist or a seat belt. Usually I prefer a cross wrist. So if I got a cross wrist here, and you just see I straighten this out, here. Now you could like lift the leg. That looks good for the pitchers to catch wrestling. But I always like, I prefer body weight and gravity. Getting low or basic. Now to, start, to get a really tough guy, what you're gonna wanna do is with this arm bar, you're going to want to cross face him at the same time. So if I come here, it's a dual submission. I'm arm locking his elbow and I'm neck cranking him. Because I have the arm, he can't relieve pressure on the neck crank. If you just cross face someone for turtle without their trying to control, he's just gonna turn. And you can get the back that way and that's okay. But he can rotate to relieve pressure. But if you have this arm, you should hit the dual submission. Go for the straight arm bar with the neck crank because he can't rotate because his arm trapped. Okay, so again, go down, relax, just relax. Here, boom, in, cross wrist, MMA, try and grab all four. If the ref's not warning you yet about the gloves, if not, grab the wrist. Real catch wrestling, batter, catch anything. Grab these fingers for your ground and pound, okay? Then you're coming in here, boom, get that arm. Then you're looking for your cross face and the elbow lock. Same submission. If I got those four fingers good, he starts to get this arm out. I can always bail. Come out and handle lock on the other side. Um, let's see. So most people don't know that neck crank. I think that's important to add into that arm bar. A uh, couple more. Head outside single here. He's grabbing your leg. First things first, head control, body control, body weight. Sprawl out from this, kick that leg back. Try and get out of it. If he keeps a strong hold, Okay, go ahead, put that on the sprawl, push this down. I'm starting to get a crucifix on the side. Then you do this over here. Now I got my cross face. Now I got my crucifix. See there, now I can just draw my hips. Probably get the straight arm bar thing. Choke down on the back with my ankle, see this? Okay. Here. Here. Shoulder roll. Boom, cover your head from a man so he doesn't get the arm up. Actually, Rod Jerry will make a mistake in this here. Uh, also, Dan Henderson's done this in MMA. Here, take the hand and fist. Better get the ball there. Eight elbow punches to your body. Hammer fist to the choke, to the neck crank. All that stuff. Um, I think one more, guys. Let's see. One more. Now, theoretically, we're saying top, bottom, back, turtle, front turtle, side turtle. 
even side mounts. So theoretically, it's not a cruise fix, it's a cruise fix. So here I'm like in a side trip, it's the same position. Now, you gotta sprawl, keep weight on them, obviously, all that head control. Here, if I can, try and get in here, sprawl us back, try and get in here. Now I'm in my cruise fix position. Now, if I got this tight, besides my shoulder roll the one I just did to the back hitting position, bring your arm out, okay, now let go like a hand of a clock. There's my. I know I wasn't good at it in a long time. But you could top over, and I'm just showing you how I was in a back cruise fix to a top cruise fix. Okay, so, you know, I wasn't the best one. Let me try that again. So, haven't rolled in a while. Okay, let's get it. Come back on the same side. Same okay, so I'm here. Now, getting warned in MMA. For back of the head strikes, you feel like you can't finish it, you just tucked really good into a ball. That's when I might hit this. Base your hand and fly over the back. Like the hand. Then we can keep hitting to get this good. Anyway, guys, that was my best video, but it shows these relationships with the cruise fix. See some different submissions. Check out the top mount acoustics video. I appreciate it. Thank you.